BB is my son. He's 18 years old, uh, recent uh, high school graduate, class 2024. Up until a few weeks ago, BB was enjoying his summer. On August 8th, he complained of a headache with a little dizziness. A few days later, his parents thought BB was having a stroke. His speech was slurred. Uh, he couldn't raise his arms up and he couldn't smile. Tests revealed BB had West Nile. Muscle aches, joint pains, abdominal pain, uh, fever, headache. Uh, the usual very non-specific type of symptoms. Baby's case is more rare. A small fraction will actually develop what we we'll call neuroinvasive disease, which is the attack of the virus on our nervous system, the brain or the spinal cord. He's paralyzed from the neck down and on a ventilator to help him breathe. It's going to be a marathon of intense uh, therapy and rehab. Uh, they've told me it could take a year to two years which is why the proctors are asking for your help. He does have a, a GoFundMe that we have established. Every penny of that GoFundMe is going to go specifically to his rehab and therapy to get him back walking and, and doing everything that a normal teenager should be able to do. While BB recovers, St. Louis County teams continue to track West Nile. Typically throughout the mosquito season, there's really not much West Nile at the beginning of the year, but by about this time of the year, we see it pretty much everywhere throughout St. Louis County. Bug spray and limiting time outdoors are the only option for lowering your risk of contracting West Nile virus. Tracy Hinson, Five on Your Side.